So you guys just bought this recently, right? Yep, we, we did. did. We bought it recently, but when we came and saw this property, we were taking a tour of the backyard, and these two huge pileated woodpeckers came to a tree that we were standing under. It's black and white with this beautiful red head, and it's okay. about the size of a hawk. And that was really special to us because my mom passed away just a couple years ago, and it was her favorite creature in the whole world. No, and so it was just kind of a sign them. that maybe this was where we were supposed to spend our forever. Oh my Great gosh. memories. I love wow. that. I love that. Wow. Okay, so what do you guys have to spend on this renovation? Uh, we've set aside $180,000 okay. Okay. Um, for the renovation. That's a lot, yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about outside. We want it to blend in, feel very natural, feel mm -hmm. like the nature around the trees, mm -hmm. the lake. And then the exterior, I think, just needs an updating from 1990. This is where all the fun happens. Okay. Oh, this is cool. How cute. It's a big room. Wow. It oh is a gosh, very big room. A huge room. It's almost too big because we yeah. don't really know what to do with it. We're not afraid of rustic or masculine or yeah. like this we love wood. Cute. Does it Wait. work? Oh, it works really well. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. What about flooring? We do not love the carpet. Yeah, especially because you're at the lake. We would be fine with even like a nice Engineered LBP. Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think if we just make this really cozy, because I see this like little space here and the fire. And I don't know. I just think that we can do something nice in here. This room is just really strange to me. I okay. think it'd be great if we could see into the yes. living room where everyone's gathering and kind of come and go. So what if we opened up this wall out to the living room and then I think that could help it feel a little yeah. more open as well. Okay, so right. this is a giant room. What is, what what is, is this? Uh, this is oh, our wow. oversized laundry room. Wow, it's huge. Is that a little you... bathroom too? It is, a little half bath back there. And this is like the best view. It really is the best view of the lake from the whole house. So right. it's a shame that it's in the laundry room. Yeah. Seems so like where is the space. main bedroom? Our main bedroom is downstairs. Okay. And there is no view of the lake. Yeah. All right. So the, the kitchen, kitchen is actually a, a large space. Oh, wow. In my opinion. It's really nice. Yeah, really. But there really is no view here. Can we open this up? It could open all the way up to here. Right. The biggest thing in all of these spaces is just going to be giving it a personality and taking the our inspiration from outside. So making it feel like when you come here, you're not just at any house, you're specifically at a lake house surrounded by trees. This is amazing. This like fire pit area and this flat piece of ground, this part of your property is so cool. Look at this, you can sit here and look out at the Watch lake. Watch the lake. Yeah, it just needs a total overall fire pit, yeah, um, a place yeah. hammocks, have, like a, place to sit. a swing. Inside, I didn't see light up at all, but we get out here. This, this is, is your space, space. Yeah. this is your space. Yeah. Yep, you can see I like to collect driftwood. This is a great one, it's like a very straight piece. My kids would say this is a perfect walking stick. Yeah, we, we can't go on the lake though without me seeing a piece of driftwood on the shore and yes. taking the whole family over and loading the boat up with a, with a big <laughs> piece of driftwood. Awesome. Yeah. Alan and Aaron really wanna get here before summer starts. Their kids yeah. are getting older and the oldest is about to go to college. They wanna have summer here together, which means it'll be here before we know it and we have a lot of work to do. All right, well, thank, thank you, you so much yeah. for showing We're us around. You, thank you. <laughs> Pressure's on, Dave, let's Pressure's go. Pressure's on. All right, bye guys. Jenny, this is the same brick as outside. We're gonna have to cover it in something. So I was really hoping that the brick on this fireplace was just a facade. It's not. It is integrated in the entire fireplace from basement all the way through the roof. So in order to take the brick down, we're gonna have to start at the chimney, work our way down. And mm -hmm. we don't have the budget for it, we don't have the time for it. What do you think? Well, if you cover it with stone, we have to have those edges here. Well, so if, if you do a sticky stone, they make corners. All right, I'll just have to go look, because I don't want it to look fake. Okay, right. now, but look at this. So this guy, I mean, what do we think is happening here? Well, I'm sure it's a header, Jen. I know, but can it be a little shorter? I don't know, I gotta go up in the attic and look. We're really trying to open up the kitchen to the living room, but that beam is right in your face. Yeah. I think the only way we're gonna fix this is hopefully we have trusses upstairs where we can remove the beam. Jenny, it's not really looking that good for losing that beam. So it is all open rafters, as you can see. This is pretty. Hey, what if we did this? So the beam has to stay below the wall, okay. unless, like if you look up here, I'm just, I got tons of room. Yeah. I wonder if we could just take and vault that whole living room. Then we could set the beam up here and then just do a vault. Oh my gosh, it would be amazing. I'd give you the whole cabin look. Mm -hmm. We got nothing but good news. 
No. Nothing it's but good, good news. Really and that good. never happens. Never. So we have rafters. We have a stick built roof. And what can we do with this roof? Raise it. Raise the roof. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, perfect. So the easiest way to take down a ceiling is from up above. Whoa, wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's a good one, man. The Owens have no idea that this is happening. Whoa, oh my gosh. It's like a foam party out there. Oh. It's going to make a huge difference. This entire space is going to feel so much bigger. Yeah, it's going to be like 15 feet. It's going to be, be awesome. sweet. And we're going to have a nice, smooth, transition from yes. kitchen to living, you can look right out to the lake. A little winter wonderland down here. Oh. Look, this is the siding that was on the house. So, is it like this in the whole house? Because this is a lot of siding. No, just under the covered porch where it never got sunlight. I knew we had to remove the front door. I knew we were replacing it, but I also thought we were going to just be able to patch the siding. So I didn't know all of the siding was going to come off. Of course, neither of us knew that. No. But we, it has to come off because it's damaged. You, we, we can't look at this in a totally negative light. No. Because I don't think you ever really loved that. But what if I see if we can find like a split log siding? OK. I mean, I like that. But is it going to look weird just having it in this one spot? Because it, it's not consistent. So you want to replace that as well? We don't have any money. Can't replace that. We're going to figure that out. But okay. I know we have to replace that. We don't have to do with anything with that right now. Okay. So let's just do this section, see how it looks, and then I'll have to make a choice. Aaron Elliman was so passionate when he was telling us about driftwood. I really want the Elliman's house to feel like a cabin in the woods. And bringing elements from the lake into the house is really going to help give us that feel. I'm thinking we try to make the handrail on the new staircase and create it out of driftwood. We're just That'd gonna find cool. the right pieces. Is that legal? Yeah, it's all it's all public shore. Okay. This is a good one. Because you could cut this one in half. This could be the top and bottom. I think this is a really oh, good one. Oh, I like one. that a lot. What about something like this for the mantle? Oh, uh, that might actually work for a mantle. I didn't know we were talking about a mantle. Well, I'm just thinking. So I gotta say, the mantle was never on my radar until Jenny Mars spotted this perfectly round log. Yeah. I guess I could cut it. I just don't know how we would mount it. You know, take it and cut it in half. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be really, really cool. I do too. It's going to be the perfect finishing touch on this new fireplace. Whoa, yes! I think we're done for the day, Jenny Mars. I'm tired. At the end of the day, this right here is what they're going to see when they walk into their home. If that is not bringing the outside in, I don't know what is. Aaron's going to love it. The driftwood mantle's finished, and it looks perfect against the new fireplace. Dark honed granite countertops complement the hunter green cabinets. Landscaping crews have started to level out the backyard. And we're building a relaxation corner where we can hang hammocks. The muted tree wallpaper is going up in the bedroom, while I meet with someone who's a little better at painting woodpeckers than I am. Hi. Hi. How's it going? OK, you Hi. must be Michelle. Yes. 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 Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So I'm here to meet with a local artist that I've been emailing with, that I've shared the story of the pileated woodpecker. I've shared a sample of the wallpaper. And I'm hoping that she can kind of take this idea and make it come to life, because I am actually kind of worried about having this really beautiful, muted, sepia-toned wallpaper, and then having a woodpecker painted onto it, because a woodpecker has bright red hair. Yeah, so I've got a few um, paintings I made. Okay. This is obviously the original color of the woodpecker. But because of this palette, I really wanted to go with more muted tones. Yes. So we still have the same structure, but it's sepia tone. So that's another one. That's another I option. Love that. Obviously, I think the red might be a little too much. Yeah. I mean, can, how can we mute it, the red? I don't know. Um, so it's we've got some, also... like, burnt sienna instead. Mm -hmm. So we've got, mm -hmm. like, this color, and we mix some oh, of these, nice. yeah, these together. Yeah. And you'll still be able to tell that yep. it's a woodpecker. It's just exactly. in the glow of dusk. Are you thinking you'll come after this is installed and just paint right on the wallpaper? Yeah, okay. acrylic okay. will be good for that. And I will do dry brush, so it won't be any water 
Okay. associated with the, yes. the paint. Yes, okay, perfect. So that we don't have to worry. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, me too, thank you. And I know this is gonna be really special for Aaron and Alan, so that's what's important. Do you wanna keep this and that way you can That would be great. Practice? And I'd love to have some of your artwork. Well, yes, thank yeah. you. Do you need me, let me know if you need me to sign okay. it. Okay. <laughs> The Elman's house has been transformed with forest green paint on the brick and light stain on the split log siding. Michelle is painting the woodpeckers on the wallpaper while finishing touches take place in the kitchen, bathroom, and especially the yard, back and front. Oh my gosh, that's him. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Like it? <laughs> little different. Wow. I love it the color little of the brick and the wood. Oh, the wood oh, yay. It's just perfect. So we talked about making us feel like a cabin and tree house in the woods. And yeah. we replaced the old siding, which actually needed replacing. And really it just feels like it belongs. We're gonna be front porch sitters. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Until we it. see the back porch. So we're yeah. gonna change our minds. Yeah, but... you actually might actually. You actually <laughs> might. I think it's time. Let's go. Let's Come go. on. Oh, Let's, go 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 go. Let's go, go, go. Look how cool. Oh, ceiling <laughs> oh, out. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Look at the fireplace. This is insane. I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the ceiling is the ceiling, amazing. Right? It makes it feel so much lighter and I know. And bigger. Yes. It does. It's like but a so different cozy. house. I love the rock. That's, that's, it's just, that's I really, amazing. Isn't it beautiful? And we really, really wanted this is. to just feel like a cozy cabin and have some identity like that. And I think this fireplace set the tone for the entire space. And we actually found this. It was a, a big log. just log that we found washed up on the shore. Are you serious? Isn't that cool I, how you I found this on the lake. Yes. Pieces of wood. I think you're going to see like wood and fire and it's Trees. a theme. You have a dining space here. Perfect. So we took out this giant wall, oh. so then you could see out to the lake and go check out your kitchen. Wow. You got the kitchen. Awesome. Yes. Oh, it's a little different. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is that? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a pizza oven. Hey, wood burning pizza oven. Hey. Look at this. More fire. What is that? More, More fire. fire. No. So you way. fill the fire in there. It's got its own chimney up through the roof. We took your. Old, old dining, dining room. room, but we gave you something way better. Go ahead, yes. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Wow. Gosh, the bird in the tree. <laughs> that is so cool. That's really special, you guys. <laughs> that's gonna make me cry. It is. He's looking over tree. us. Oh, mm, that's you. cool. <laughs> that is amazing. This is gorgeous. I'm so glad you noticed She's it. She's so right. I want to move on. I know. I'm so glad. And then my mom would love this. Oh, Thank you. I'm so glad. You're welcome. I love this, and I hope you like it because it feels like really an escape, like a true it does. retreat. It does. Because you have it's this. a bird's nest. It really is. It's like a little bird's nest. Colors are muted enough. Yes. And it just makes it like soothing. Yes. Yes. Good. All right. Go. Yeah, go check out your bathroom. Yes. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh, wow. oh, this is cool. Look at the big shower. That's amazing. I that love is it. gorgeous. I love how the little rocks tie in I with know. it. Yes. I know. Think what this was a random laundry room. Laundry room, wasted space. Yep. All right, get out of there. We got a final space. Hey, come good. on, let's go out back. Now right, you guys go, go on. Ahead. We're super excited about this. Wow. <gasps> I oh love gosh. the glass you can see through. That wow. fire pit is amazing. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. This we were struggling fantastic. with like putting something that blocks your view and now. Such an improvement. How right? open yes. it is. I mean, you, well, you can, can just... see through while you're sitting down. That was yes. a big deal. Yes. You could even see people hanging out down below. That is amazing. <gasps> Look at these huge pavers. Those are Aren't awesome. Aren't these beautiful? I love these. All very just natural. That's, That's really cool. cool. I love how it just like blends in right into the hill. Take a step back and look at that house. That is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I have to say, I think we nailed it. I this agree. house is exactly what Alan and Aaron wanted. I mean, this is 
<laughs> oh. This is the life right there. This is it. Oh.